Okay guys, we're going to focus on this situation again. We're going to work on another escape from the armor position. This time we're going to force his leg inside our legs so that we can remove the tension of his knees on our arm to take the threat and the power out of his legs and then we can start to reposition the rest of our body. So when he lands here, okay, in the arm lock position again, immediately we're gonna to start to connect our arms together, all right? And in this option, because we're not using a rotational movement as much, we're gonna focus on coming up to try to stack his body. We're gonna keep this grip locked as much as possible. This is always the safest option, but not always the easiest option, okay? Anytime you're able to keep the threat as small as possible, the less ability he has to actually complete and finish the situation throughout the, cho the choice of defense we've chosen. Now, a really simple option, all right, that can occur sometimes is I'm gonna use, all right, whatever grip I made, sometimes I can use my jacket as well, but I'm gonna put my elbow on the inside of his bottom leg. All right, now it's not always that easy. His arms are tight, uh, sorry, his legs are tight on my shoulders here. And it, I, sometimes it's difficult for me to put my arm inside, but usually as he starts to work on breaking the grips of my arms, his arms start, his legs start to move. He start to adjust, push my bicep, all sorts of movements, all right? And I'm able to pull my forearm inside, especially if he starts to use his legs to try to break the grips, okay, of my arms. Now, as soon as my elbow lands on the inside of his calf or his Achilles here, I'm gonna bring my knees as high as I can to my upper body. As soon as I bring my knees, I just open my leg that's closest to his ankle and I catch his leg on the inside. I'm putting him back to like a half guard situation. Now, once I land in the half guard, I've separated his knees. So even if Lucas is able to extend my arm, the power he has in finishing is a much less powerful lock. I don't recommend stretching your arm in this position. If you can, keep your arms locked, but immediately the power he has in finishing is decreased massively. Now we're gonna focus on pushing the leg off of our head and we're gonna to start to sit up and stack his body. Once we land in this position, I'm gonna focus on turning towards Lucas and coming onto the top position so he can no longer attack my arm or my neck or my upper body.